going on, Odoers, and welcome back. Here at Stealthy Wood, our desks have been selling so well that we decided to introduce a whole new line of desk accessories to go with them, including this adorable desktop air plant terrarium. However, hosting these plants in our warehouse has introduced a new challenge, managing perishable products in our inventory. Fortunately, Odoo has a solution for us, leveraging the power of expiration dates. Expiration dates allow us to track a product's shelf life in our inventory and keep track of them when they expire. Our plants don't, hopefully, and this is more important when you're selling things like milk or even medicine, but we even like to use them to make sure that shipping and picking operations prioritize the products that are expiring first. So let's jump into our database to see how this all works. First things first, let's start by setting up our inventory. From the inventory application, we'll open up our settings by clicking configuration and then clicking the settings option. Now, in order to use expiration dates, we'll need to activate a few things. The features we wanna make sure we have enabled are located in the traceability section. So we just need to find that. And those settings are lots and serial numbers as well as expiration dates. Remember, you will only be able to see expiration dates once you have lots and serial numbers enabled. To specify what we want to pick first when products are stored in a specific location, we'll also need to activate storage locations and multi-step routes in our warehouse section. As you can see, we already have those settings enabled, but if you don't have those enabled in your database, make sure you tick those check boxes and then click save before moving on. All right, with all of our settings good to go, let's check out our new perishable product, the air plant. And to do that, we're just gonna click products at the top followed by products once again. And look at that, there's our air plant product that we'll just click into right now. Now, in order to have an expiration date for the product, we need to make sure the product type is set to goods. In addition to that, we need to have track inventory ticked and enabled with either lots or serial numbers added to this corresponding field. Lot numbers allow us to track groups of the same product together from where they are in the warehouse to which lot our returns are coming from since our air plants are shipped together in flats of 32. So for that use case, we're gonna make sure we have lots ticked and enabled right here on the track inventory section. Be sure to check out our videos on lots and serial numbers to learn more about ways of tracking products. All right, now we need to set the actual expiration date so we can open up our inventory tab right here and here we'll find in the traceability section our expiration date. And if we uncheck this and recheck it again, we'll notice that the dates section here on the right appears. And that allows us to give options on how we configure by default a product is expected to last in our warehouse. Expiration date here at the top is the number of days we expect this product to last from the day it arrives in our warehouse. For the air plants, this is set to 30 because they last about a month in our warehouse before they've completely wilted. Next, we have the best before date. This is currently set to 14 days before the expiration date. And we also have a removal date set to seven. And we're gonna update this alert date to give us a seven day warning as well. And that's when we get notified on the day we need to get rid of the plants a week before expiration. We can also change the expiration date on a lot or product that we track by serial number when it arrives in our warehouse and Odoo will recalculate the best before removal and alert dates based on the new expiration date. So now that we have our expiration dates configured, let's see what happens with a new shipment of air plants that are arriving today. To check that out, we're gonna click overview here at the top and click on our one to receive button here in our receipts card. And then we'll click the first receipt here in the list. And here we could see that this is for 128 new air plants. So I'll click validate. Oh no, Odoo is mad that we haven't assigned a serial number or lot number to this yet, but let's take care of that now. So we're just gonna click close on this warning window. Next, we'll click this list icon that appears next to the quantity, and I'll just click generate serials slash lots. And I'll set the first lot to lot 
0.001. I'll also change the quantity per lot to 32 and then click Generate. If I click Save, then reopen up that list view, we'll be able to see that Odoo has generated us four different lots with four different expiration dates. However, there's a slight problem here because one of the batches of the air plants that arrived are in poor condition, to say the least. And I need to change the expiration date to be a little bit sooner. So to do that, I can click the expiration date here for lot four, and I'll move the expiration date one week earlier, and then click apply. That looks all good, so I'll click save right here, and then click validate on the receipt. All right, now that that's done, let's check out our lots and serial numbers page to take a closer look at a couple things. To do that, I'll click products, but this time I'll click lots slash serial numbers. Here you'll find our four lots that we just received plus an additional one that's been sitting here for a while. I can also sort these out if I click the top of the removal date column here, and I'll be able to notice that old lot needs to be removed soon. Now, let's see how Odoo can help us minimize waste by automatically picking lots that are expiring first, just like this one. FIFO is a method used for selling perishable products where the product moved out of the warehouse first is the one with the earliest removal date. Let's go ahead and set up a location where the FIFO method will be applied. So to do that, we'll click configuration at the top followed by locations, and we're gonna open up our warehouse stock floral shelf location. One thing to note is that all of our products in the floral category automatically get put away here. Feel free to check out our put away rules video if you'd like to learn more about that. But if we scroll down to our logistics section, we just want to select first expiry, first out in our removal strategy field. It's worth noting that we can also activate FIFO on the product category level as well, so we could set anything floral to always be FIFO. But since we've already set up our LED lights and misters for our dedicated plant storage, we'll go ahead and keep using the floral shelf location to define the removal strategy. Now let's see FIFO in action in an internal transfer with these air plants. To do that, I'll click overview at the top, which will take us back to the inventory overview. And here in internal transfers, I'll just click this title to open up that card. Then we'll click new in the upper left hand corner to create a new transfer and I'll just type in floral in the source location to help us quickly find our warehouse stock floral shelf. And I'll leave the destination location set to warehouse stock. Then here in the product lines field, I'll click add a line and I'll just select our air plant product. We'll go ahead and add a demand of 60 here. And then I'll click mark as to do. Once the transfer is ready, we'll see this print button appear. And if we click print, this will download a PDF to the transfer order. The downloaded PDF will look something like this. And I can also see that it is pulling from our old lot since we know that expires first. And we also have the next closest removal date lot at the top. We even have barcodes to scan each lot. How cool is that? And that's it for this video, folks. With Odoo, we can safely track and pick our perishable products, including these precious plants. That's all for now, but be sure to check out our other tutorials to learn even more about how awesome Odoo's inventory app is. Until next time, see you soon, Odooers.